Discover the 2023 All-African Games Stadium Project. Ghana is making all effort to get ready for the All-African Games as it is already 2023. In order to make the University of Ghana Sports Stadium one of the largest and most advanced stadiums in Africa, Ghana is now renovating it. This incredible and enormous initiative, along with other spectacular projects like the building of a brand new enormous aquatic center with a 10-lane swimming pool and two new multi-purpose halls for basketball, boxing, and badminton, is intended to get the nation ready for the African Games, which will be hosted by the nations in 2023. To help with development and enhance sports and physical activities in the nation, a project of this size has a ton of fantastic advantages for the nation, particularly as Ghana attempts to grow and completely commercialize its tourism sector. Follow this video to the end to learn more and receive updates on this amazing and gigantic stadium project that will boost Ghana's tourism industry and establish Ghana as one of the most advanced nations in Africa to host this renowned event. Before we get started, as always, I would appreciate a like on this video and, if you're new, a channel subscription. Only a few months away from the 2023 Games, the host nation of Ghana is demonstrating its readiness and preparation by entirely renovating the University of Ghana Stadium into an ultra-modern Olympic stadium that can accommodate all of the games that will be played there. This amazing project is anticipated to use a significant portion of the $200 million the government has allocated for the building of all facilities and sporting facilities required to ensure the success of the African Games. As previously said, if completed, the stadium will rank among Ghana's greatest facilities. An international standard is being raised for the athletic strike. The stadium's capacity would be greatly increased, there would be a new warm-up track, a football field, and to top it all off, there would purportedly be a full-size rugby field to complement the sports arena. Kansar Laid is in charge of the project, and work is going according to plan. According to Ghana's Honorable Mustafa Youssef, Minister of Youth and Sports, initially, governments had intended to invest $200 million into a brand new stadium at Baltimore in the greater Accra area. It has since been abandoned, though. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on building delays, governments suspended and postponed the project. In order to build the project in phases while leveraging an existing facility at the University of Ghana and expanding the other facilities that are not yet available to meet the requirements for hosting the 2023 African Games, the Minister for Youth and Sports carefully observed the construction timelines. A 1,000-seat competitive swimming pool arena, an 8-lane competitive swimming pool, an 8-lane warm-up swimming pool, a 500-seat temporary dome for handball, judo, karate, taekwondo, wrestling, and basketball, as well as a 1,000-seat multi-purpose home for badminton, boxing, volleyball, weightlifting, and power sports are among the new facilities that will be built to go with the new stadium. A five-court tennis complex with a 1,000-seat center court, a covered spectator area, and a VIP viewing area are among the additional facilities that will be built. Each of the other four ports would have a sitting area for 200 spectators. Three cities are expected to host the 13th edition of the African Games, Accra, Kumasi, and Cape Coast. It is clear that the government is preparing to make the continental sport showcase an event that Africans won't soon forget, as well as to do everything in its power to capitalize on this prestigious opportunity. There are many obstacles to hosting a continental Olympic game like this. This includes a growth in the tourism and hospitality sector, an increase in trade that may result in a rise in foreign investment, an upgrade to infrastructure, such as the Legan Sports Stadium, and similar projects being undertaken by the government, and an improvement to transportation systems. Wherever it is known that host countries frequently experience an infusion of foreign currency as tourism and increased travel inject more money into the local economy. Furthermore, since the event necessitates a sizable support crew in order to be organized and run well, the Olympic Games may have a positive impact on the host cities by creating jobs. This makes it clear why the government is spending millions of dollars 
to make the University of Ghana Sports Stadium one of the best and ultra-modern stadiums. It is safe to say that after it is finished and put to the best use, Ghanaians will be able to take full advantage of the wonderful benefits it holds. If you like contents like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Remember to turn on your notification to get alert of newly posted videos on this channel. Also comment on the video so that we can know your thoughts about this project.